Is the glass half full or half empty? And what about these? Half full, half empty. These U.S. Supreme Court decisions set important standards for student expression. Tinker is often seen as the good news and Hazelwood's often seen as the bad news for students, but a closer look shows they both have their good news. For links to our videos on those, see the description below. New Voices laws seek to start with the good news from the national decisions like these and build up more rights for students from there. The goal is to have each state have its own New Voices law that spells out the rights students have in more detail than the general terms of the First Amendment. At their core, New Voices laws give student journalists control over the content they publish as part of their rights to free expression. That's the foundational idea. From there, states vary in their approaches. Many also include protections for student journalism advisors, saying they shouldn't be disciplined or reassigned for supporting students in their free expression. Many New Voices laws include a reference to the civics benefits of participating in student journalism. Some legislation includes both public and private schools, and some is only focused on students in public schools. Many New Voices laws include protection from prior restraint. If you're not familiar with that term, see our video here. A small note. These laws often state that students are not protected if their expression is illegal, like copyright violation, libel, and so on. As of 2024, 18 states have new voices laws. A handful of others are working on them, too. It's ideal when students connect with the state legislators to help promote the bills. Experience has shown that student voices are powerful when asking for their First Amendment rights, and it's a great civics experience for student journalists to get involved with lawmaking. If your state currently lacks new voices laws, you can change that. You can talk to our friends at Student Press Law Center to start. Their website has lots of resources and they'll help you make plans and work with legislators. So what are the laws around student expression and student journalism in your state? If you don't have strong protections, get in touch with SPLC and get started. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.